Hello there, this is Nasser and in today's tutorial we're gonna continue what we've been talking about previously. Today we're gonna take how to make a straightforward scenario for web automation testing. In today's tutorial, we're gonna review the precondition for setting up your framework and your PC, creating a Maven project, a sample actually, and setting your dependency and write a sample. But before we start, let's make sure that everything is set up prepared in your PC. First, we have to make sure that we have the latest version of Java and we can call it and check it through terminal or command in Windows. Second, we have to make sure that we have the latest Maven version and we have a correct IDE to use and make sure that we set up our system variables in Windows and bash file in Mac. So let's get started with it. After we start Eclipse, we're gonna create a Maven project. To do this, right click on Projects plural, choose a new project. From Maven folder, we're gonna use Maven project. Click next, click next. Let's use the default setting click next again you can see here the new maven project need a group id the group id means the domain that the project will work on and artifact id is the project name for example we can, i'm gonna leave my group id as a spare the artifact id i'm gonna use it training test click finish expand the project as you can see here, there is a bunch of whole folders. I'm not gonna explain them all today, but in the future tutorial, every folder we're gonna be explained. The folder we're gonna work on today is under source test Java, aspire.testing train or training test, app test.java. In this file, we're gonna write all our code. To do this, this first start by creating a method no return of type let's call it test I'm not gonna pass any parameters create the brackets and save it we've now created a maven project but still not prepared to use it as a web automation to do this I need to add the selenium dependency let's go to Google and write selenium maven dependency choose the first url maven will open and here's the dependency that we can use but the version here we need to edit it to fit our project i'm gonna copy it go to this file bomb.xml you can see here the already we've already created our group id and artifact id Let's go to pom.xml tab. Underneath the JUnit dependency, I'm gonna paste the dependency. I'm gonna edit the version to 2.53.0. Save it and close it. Now I'm able to call with a driver without any problem. So to start my test, I need to launch a browser. If I'm gonna use a Google Chrome, I need to add a web driver to the project to start it. But Firefox, it's already declared and I don't need to add it, so I'm gonna use it today. To do this, I'm gonna write web driver, call driver, finish initialization by new, using Firefox, driver, provided from selenium semicolon save it don't worry about the red line underneath driver it's just because you didn't use it yet you're gonna call driver dot what's my first job or what's my first action I wanna do in this example I wanna navigate to google and write with automation testing in a text box 
and search for the result to do this I need to take the Google search URL copy it back to Eclipse I can navigate through pages using method called get to let this menu appear you just need to click control and space and it will appear write get method double quotation and paste the URL as we are running this code using selenium when a human run this code or when a human do the same test case I'm gonna navigate this page wait until the base appear write my text and click enter and see the result I make sure that the result is correct but in selenium to do this you need to navigate to the URL wait until element appear make sure that the page is loaded properly to do this I'm gonna back to Eclipse use wait method I'm gonna call it wait finish the initialization web driver wait as you can see here it's a wait provided from selenium 2 and it have the driver we already declared and the time out in second they suggest that I can use the driver I already create I'm gonna choose it time out in second I am gonna put 15 seconds save the job use the wait what I'm gonna wait for I'm gonna wait until the Google logo appear so I'm gonna write until what I'm expected to do expectation for me is the logo appear to choose the logo appearance to choose the weight for logo appearance I'm gonna write visibility of element located by what's my element located by I don't know yet let's try it by mm. we have bunch of whole suggestions class names CSS selector ID link text name etc so to know what's my logo selector is I'm gonna right click on it click inspect and as you can see it's been highlighted and here's an ID which is my first priority to use copy it use ID double quotation paste it my weight is correct and really good I waited until the element appear what's my next step is to send web automation text in here in this text box to do this use this inspect tool inspect the text box and search for something unique for example I can use the title title search or I can use the type or the ID there's the ID I'm gonna copy it use the exact declaration but to, you, to declare an element from scratch you need to use the driver and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find an element this element is by ID I'm gonna paste the ID what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna send a key I, I wanna type some text in that text box Level quotation what my text is web automation testing after I search after I sent the key in a text box I want to wait for something and that's some something is the result I'm gonna get when I search for web automation testing and to do this I'm gonna copy this come to the text box right click and search and I got this let me wait until the result appear inspect it to the first choice I had I can use this as a unique selector to pick the class the node name is I the attribute is the class copy it back what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wait until expected conditions dot results or visibility 
of element located by CSS selector pasted as you can see here the double quotation from the selector interrupted from the double quotation from the CSS selector to do this because it's a Java it's okay to change the double quotation to single quotation semicolon and save everything is very good seems to be to run our test I can right click here run as or in the folder add test run as jm test and wait the browser will launch and get the correct link search for the sent key and the result appear correctly and everything seems to be good and everybody is happy but we realized one thing that once the browser launched and the test is done and everything is good the browser is still launched and to close this I'm just gonna write driver sorry for caps driver dot close run my test again from here run as junit and everything seems good and the browser is closed this is my small tutorial hope you can find it very helpful and thank you for watching